Welcome back to Venaries and Roman's Little Potter World. Today we want to talk to with you about the current rumors about the new Harry Potter sets. Quite some information has leaked and we want to see what it could look like and what it could mean, which sets are important to buy. So the biggest announcement is certainly the Burrow Collector's Edition, which should be coming out in September. So we're looking at a rather big set uh, of the Burrow. And on the left hand side, you see our mock from 2022. And um, the, it is announced to have 2,405 pieces and should retail about for $260. From the minifig side, we expect to get the whole family with 10 minifigures. Harry, Ron, Ginny, Molly, Arthur, Fred, George, Charlie, Bill and Percy. I really hope that it is true. And we finally get uh, Charlie and Bill. I'm very excited about these minifigures. Could be really great. And actually, with the new wave, the minifigures were really good. So let's see. It uh, further on says it's closed up with um, hinges opening and we should get a full interior with extra rooms, kitchen, toilet and etc. And the whole thing should be about 50 centimeters high. Oh, 10 centimeter higher than our mock. Absolutely. That would be really, really large. But can this really work with that number of pieces? Um, so if you look to our mock here, we don't know really uh, the number of pieces because we haven't created uh, um, instructions. Uh, Valerie, you just recently created the new landscape, did you? Yes. Uh, With this new plate, um, we thought it, uh, it is ideal for the little lake and... Um, the ways here up to the entrance. Yeah, it really works well. It's not an official uh, Lego plate, it's some open bricks. We'll put the link inside there, but it's an easy way to create uh, a nice landscape. Yeah. And um, as you remember, we built it uh, based on the original uh, Lego set, which uh, has that uh, fireplace, which uh, has the flu network in there and we'll talk about that later on. It's a very nice play feature back then. Um, and it also it included an extra room for Fred and George. Yes. Uh, it's here added with uh, brown and tan uh, stripes level. there. Yeah, the extra level there. Yeah. So it pretty much covers everything that is described at the moment. Let's let, have a look with the original set. So this was a very nice set. We loved it. It's a excellent um, um, thing and it was was uh, a, a good base for a, for a mock as well. So it has had less than half the pieces and costed less than half. So uh, it had eight minifigures. So imagine that thing being twice as big. And um, if you want to create that building, um, there was a designer called Majora, I guess, 56. And uh, his instructions, or her instructions, uh, probably her, huh? I don't know, uh, are for free on Rebrickable. And uh, there the mock uses 2,129 pieces already without extra rooms. So we see actually uh, Lego must be creative um, to create something uh, with that number of pieces. And another indication we got is, it's my guess, that we get a little bit of landscape around it. But I don't know. So there are two two variants from um, JL Bricks who created that. And again, you'll find the instructions on the sceneries. But so, if it is true that it is uh, 50 centimeters high, that means two extra levels to that the is true. That is original true. Uh, design. Yeah. And so it's hard to create a lot of landscape around it. And still you're very surprised to read that it's a closed building because yeah. Lego never did that. Huh? Yeah. So we got a good estimate, but... By Harry Potter. Oh yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. City, cities obviously are closed, <laughs> but for Harry Potter uh, world, this doesn't exist. So we are looking forward, uh, getting maybe the pictures in about two weeks, we guess. Uh, and, and we will talk about that once okay. we see them. Um, but the real interesting thing we are looking forward 
is actually the next thing that is announced. It is the Borgen and Berg's flu network gift, gift with purchase, which is um, something, we know the set number, we know the piece code 190, we can guess one or two minifigures. We do not know the threshold, so how much you have to buy to get that for free. But that's our big problem, in fact. You know, if we do not buy um, the, borough. the borough, how do we get it? <laughs> um, because, um, so we on the, on the right-hand side, we see the very old set from 2003, which shows the shop from the outside, more or less, with a little bit of, of small interior, which has 209 pieces, which gives you some idea what 200 pieces mean. Um, and another thing, which is obvious, so it must be that scene. You, it's, it's a picture taken from the from the film here, um, where Harry is arriving, so to speak, <laughs> uh, uh, in the fireplace, totally dirty. His glass is broken again. So we can think of some kind of fireplace inside thing. Some with, mechanical. Um, yeah, maybe the turning thing yes. there as as well as we saw on the old one there. Yeah. Uh, but it's hard to guess. So. Um, another small indication could be a mock uh, actually Brick Sanchez has done. It was his idea to uh, create the flu network based on uh, Hogwarts Legacy. And JL Bricks has created this nice little uh, stickers which uh, feature the inventor of the flu network. But obviously it's, 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 it's somehow inside I, uh, in, in my thinking. Um, and it must be bigger because those yes. would be... 60 pieces only so uh, i think the benchmark would be this thing here what do you think oh i love it yeah we have it and um it's really a great design yeah. with all the pictures yeah and you could do something similar probably for the shop inside so maybe a, a corner where you have the chimney and then harry flying out or falling out probably mm -hmm. better and and this is really a collector's item today. It's 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 uh, sold uh, by sixty or eighty euros, so three or four times the price there. So this is a it's creating a problem, you know. If that thing is good, we really have to figure out how to get that uh, <laughs> because probably it's certainly a Lego shop exclusive. So this um, gift is really the the most exciting thing at the moment here for us. Let's see. Um, we got some more rumors, in fact, where we even know less. We just know the name at the moment of the sets. But let's have a quick look on those as well now. So it's the sets for early 2025, probably. So uh, we will get the calendar, of course, in December, which was already uh, discussed. Nothing special there. So we have four names now, four sets. And the first one is Malfoy's Manor. What do you think about Malfoy's Manor as a probably new set from oh, Lego? Oh, I would love to see it. Yeah, totally. It's it's something they have never gotten. And uh, so yeah. it was again JL Bricks who created uh, some very nice box, actually two in two different sizes, uh, where my guess totally is that it is, the if Lego, the, yeah, certainly it's the smaller one. Um, so. We, we see the house, I think one of the later films, we see it from the outside. So it's a pretty good uh, estimate on, on what the thing could look like. It's, of course, one of the darkest places uh, apart from Azkaban um, there. So let's see how um, adventurous Lego really is, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the snake scene is done really there with the table and the torturing. Eh, we'll I don't think see. So. We will see. But so it's certainly a thing we're looking forward to and uh, we don't know the price tag yet. So if you can't wait for, for 14 euros and buying the pieces, uh, Malfoy Manor can already be yours. And um, so my guess would be we get the Malfoy family and some others. So something between six to eight figures, maybe. So it should be a rather substantial set. I, I can't really see that this thing is is really small. So what's the next thing? Well, it's Hagrid's <laughs> motorcycle, and I said this is great. Is it a nice picture of Roman? <laughs> yes, yes. I had the pleasure of being in in the um, Harry Potter theme park in uh, near London, and they can sit on the on the original one, in fact, or a copy of it. So it's really fun that they allow you to sit on that thing. 
So again, you can look at uh, some mocks and as we don't know we, how big it is, because this is a nice little mock, I have done it upstairs, um, but this is only 60 to 75 pieces and certainly two minifigures, Harry and Hagrid, but we don't know. Um, um, if you want to do it, you can get uh, the pieces on from, from Bricklink and so it's a nice mock I can recommend. But it could be bigger, of course. Huh? So then it would be something like like a Hedwig or something yeah, with, with or more the pieces. Patronus, uh... But like the Patronuses, yeah. Um, but then it would be certainly without minifigures again. So yeah. quite some uncertainty. What do you think? Uh, should Lego make a small set with say 15 euros, like what we see here, or should make uh, should Lego make a bigger version of that one? What would you prefer? Give us some feedback there, maybe. Then, um, very little is known. Charms, class is the name. So it should be a remake of, of one of those here. with, And probably based on or similar to the potions class we got this year. With the same mechanism. So you can close it and slide mm -hmm. it into uh, the, the, castle. the castle and the um, great hall. Which, and we both liked that set. It was wonderful. Yes. Huh? And it was... Yes. Rich, full of details, and uh, four minifigures, and, and much, much better than the other classrooms we, we got with the Great Hall, yeah. which we didn't like. So we hope for for <coughs> a decent set of that size, uh, based on the potions class. So it would be Flitwick then as a as a as a teacher yes. maybe, and um, let's see. Quite promising. I think. The question is a young Flitwick or an older one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, but the figures were very strong in that, that wave here, so we mm -hmm. can expect something there. And then the last thing that is, uh, I think, uh, promised is the flying lesson. So again, um, from the theme here would be a, a remake uh, of an older set here. Hard to guess what, what uh, the, the, the part of the castle would be and so on, and how it would fit to the, the other things, but certainly interesting. Um, so the old set was rather small, maybe this is bigger, we don't know yet. So what are the most exciting things of that wave and what are the rumors? Oh, um, I would like to see a uh, Malfoy Manor. Yeah, That's, absolutely. Uh, yeah. my main thing and I'm, I'm not sure about the scenery of the borough. What Oops. will Lego uh, show us? Mm -hmm. A new attack? But maybe it's the wedding uh, scenery. I don't yeah. know. So, so it's a big question. Like, what is the the scenery for the borough really? So many things we can look forward, and we are excited to get that. And let's discuss with that with you when you have more rumors, more ideas, and looking forward to your feedback. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.